We've got a few Halloween decorations up. I'm surprised they don't have more because they've already had a couple parties. Yeah, so far, the picture quality on this looks really good. I'm also checking out the internal microphone because the, the old phone didn't have a good one, um, but we've been using the Canon mic and it worked, yeah, shotgun mic, and that works very well. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what it's doing. But uh, the camera's been automatically like chasing people. Which, that, that's neat and all that it can do that, but I need to be able to control that so I, you see what I want you to see and not everything else. <laughs> Register totally closed. Okay, I think it may be on these. Earrings, pins. I think those are all pins actually. Glasses. Ah, there's spoon accessories. Okay, we're getting, we're getting warm. Okay. I got the uh, ring. Unfortunately, I had to get the tall Mickey one because the other one was too uh, too wide. Okay. Hello, I'm a third. You mobile order? Oh, okay. I haven't even ordered yet. Okay. Well, I was just going to look at the menu real quick. Strawberry, <laughs> bacon, jam, crisp funnel cake pieces. Oh, there we go. They got pain and panic. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the pain. So we are at uh, Casey's. So we got some cheese, we got fries. I have the Pain and Panic, and then you got the Cheese Dog. Um, I'm not really into condiments, so I got a little bit of malted vinegar and pepper to throw on mine. Hopefully there's enough salt, so I don't need to add that, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, dig in and see how it goes. We're going to see how this cheese goes. Okay, we're going to see the cheese right now. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, it's good. The hot dog is really substantial. Oh, yeah, and I think it's an all beef hot dog. It's good. The chili, I'm telling Jeremy, it reminds me of my grandma's chili. My good mom, my mom's mom, because it doesn't have a lot of tomatoes in it, but it's got a lot of beans and beef. So if that's not your thing, that's not going to be your chili. It's okay. still really good. And you have to go by the pain and panic. I mean, it is quite good. I think there might be just a little bit of mayonnaise on the top of it, because Disney likes to do that. But honestly, I'm not tasting it, so... But luckily, when Disney is putting mayonnaise on stuff, usually it's a very light amount. <laughs> All right, so we usually don't go to Tomorrowland in the evenings just because. For whatever reason, the waits over here seem to be longer, same with Fantasyland, but we don't come over here. So, we're just kind of biting the bullet, and we'll get in whatever line. We're probably going to go for a buzz first, assuming that it doesn't look crazy busy. All 
sorry, I have no idea what's going on with the lines tonight, but uh, the People Mover has a massive line. No idea why, so we're over to, here to Carousel of Progress. Oh no! Did we miss it? Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, three minutes, we can do that. Once again, welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. For your safety, please remain fully seated throughout the entire 20 minute show and supervise your children. But most importantly, enjoy the show. Perfect, let's get a red one. Let's go. Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Ah, oh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Millions of people came to see it. And since then, the Carousel of Progress has had more performances than any other stage show in history. I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. Electric lights? No more kerosene. No more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marvel. Now it takes me only five hours to do the wash. Imagine, it used to take two days. <laughs> well, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things like... Like canning uh, and cleaning the oven. Yes, dear. Don't just clean themselves, you know. I know, dear. <laughs> and they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get the laundry off the line before it starts raining cats. Oh, wait, we have indoor plumbing now. Oh, boy, that's really great on cold nights, especially for our perennial house guest, old Uncle Orville. <laughs> Uncle Orville's taken over the coolest spot in the house, of course, and he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. <laughs> Too bad he's not reading the help wanted ads. No privacy at all around this place. Sorry, Orville. You know, considering all the... Oh, coming, Martha, as I was saying. Considering all the conveniences we now have, I'll say that we're really on easy street. Same thing. That's what they call progress, dear. <laughs> yeah, I guess she's right. But we do have television <laughs> when it works. Gives you something to do after you come home. I kind of like it, you know? Guy named John Cameron Swayze gives us all the news. And then they have all this singing and dancing. A lot of fluff, but it's fun. You know, I predict today when millions of people will learn Latin and Greek sitting in front of their TV sets. Are you ready? Give you a lecture, big love. <laughs> Ah, yes, a new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, everybody, I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Tell the refrigerator to bring me a root beer. Well, it can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Tree lights, 30% brighter. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that voice activating stuff. Watch it. Roar! Beep! John, the oven should respond to your voice commands now. Give it a try. Oh, okay. Here goes. Temperature to 375. Reminds me of certain people I know. Yeah, right, Dad. Yeah, I like the flow. Our celestial symbol of air planetary harmony. Top of one and launch high above tomorrow. All right, well, it's saying 55 minutes right now. So, uh, ready to get on. So we'll see what it actually was, but hope not. We'll see. I'll see you then. Again, first night with the new thumb, so we'll see. And remember that passengers in wheelchairs must transfer yeah, into a being back here at might be 55. I'm not sure. Now, they also do have a single rider, but, you know, we're here together, so why go single rider? All right. So, as far as the Disney Genie Plus line, um, we're literally at the back of it. 
they literally are just walking right on. Everybody else on the other side, you can't see them, but they're whining back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, um, halfway down the tunnel. So I'm not trying to speak bad of Disney, but yeah, they've made it so that this half of the park isn't even usable unless we have GD Plus. So yeah, there's that. Okay, and that turned out to be right about a 40 minute wait, but we did uh, get a little bit of a boost because they let us go see behind the uh, lightning lane folks. There's lightning out there. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So yeah, that was maybe a five minute wait, so. Stay clear of the doors, which will open and close automatically. Enjoy your trip. Oh, there's Space Mountain. Oh, we didn't get her a picture. Yeah. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Horak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see tomorrow. Sprinkling again. In my stars, is there ever lots to see? Try to put a better look at monster like this. There's really nothing like today or tomorrow. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. Thank you. Getting a good shot of the Next castle. Station. Oh, the castle's on the other side. Urban planning and star traders. Transfer to green and red line. Don't worry, the castle. your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. First up, Progress City. Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny ORAC. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. There's Tron. It's got a little bit of uh, illumination going on. Oh, oh they're testing! <laughs> Please keep forward-facing tentacles clear on coming vehicles. Thank you. Well, that was cool. All right. So first we go over the teacups. They also have the uh, Mad Hatter and some of the Alice in Wonderland figurines over there. Well, go say hi to them. I'll have to film Amy doing it because there's no way that I can hold an umbrella and the camera and wave, so I <laughs> only have two hands. For whatever reason, we almost ne never are over on this side of the park at, at dark. We usually start our day here. Or, or middle of the day when it's super hot. So, do uh, you want to spin fast? No, it's okay. Well, say, we can get two separate cards if you want. No, it's alright. Okay. 
Amy likes to spin maniacally fast, and I don't like to get sick, so <laughs> I cannot do the spinny spinny, but I'll ride it with her. All right, well, we'll see you on, my, on the ride. All right, so here we go. Okay, well, there's no line because it's down. All right. Well, this should be pretty close to a walk-on. Yeah, they're even running some cars empty, so, so. Looks like as quick as we can walk through is how quick we're gonna get on. All right. Well, uh, we pretty well walked on to Winnie the Pooh. This wind traded places. There's something crazy going because a 20 minute wait for seven dwarves. Uh, yeah, never, never seen that before. For standby, I mean, best customers, like, are, are you serious? 20 minutes? Yeah, give or take. So, first, hopefully, they don't shut it down due to lightning because there is some, definitely some lightning in the area. But, uh, yeah, we'll catch up. All right, so we finally caught up to the line. Oh, that's cool. That is so awesome. <laughs> Each one projects a different character out. That's cool. There we go. We are secured. This thing is a tight the wire. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a little bit of rain. <laughs> oh. oh, lightning shot. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> yeah, just at the graveyard, everything looks really good. It's very clear. There's more lightning out there. When hinges creak in doorless chambers and strange and frightening sounds echo through the hall, whenever candlelights flicker where the air is left in school, that is the time 
when ghosts are pleasant, practicing their terror with foolish delight. Thank you. That was awesome. And I don't know how much of the darker uh, footage was captured, but the lit up ghosts were even brighter than normal. All right, back to Umbrella. All right, so we just went from uh, Haunted Mansion. It's still pouring. Um, it was like a 10 minute wait for Mansion, if that. Pretty much a walk on, we walked right up to the doors practically. And then the rain's really kicked in, so I think even more people decided, nope, they're done. So we're doing uh, Pirates as a walk-on, which didn't think we were going to be able to do either of these rides tonight, but uh, Disney Magical Rain for the win. Flip all of the sets. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, right. and legs inside oh. the boat. And watch your children. And no flash pictures. All right. Prepare to make sail. Bienvenidos a bordo. Hello. So you're clearly enjoying your job. Next up, I mean pirates. Seatbelts are going to go left to right. If you do not have a seatbelt, hold on tight. Good luck. <laughs> it's OK. The Kraken got fed probably like 30 seconds ago. As long as you don't do anything. <laughs> oh, here we go. That person doesn't usually wave. It's like they're forced to be serious. That's cool. By the way, you're on the spot. started. Thank you. All right. So I think we may be done, but we'll see. Well, that was fast. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> We've got uh, Donald and Daisy off to our left. Yeah, if you want to collect the characters, come on a rainy night. Everybody's left. And nobody's just lounging around in front of the statues or worried about taking pictures in front of the statues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're mine well. Yeah. Uh, did you wave a Zeus? Zeus. God, Zeus. No. Okay, because he was, you know. Making a noise for you. Some about lightning bolts. So there's Goofy off to our left. Or what we're doing tomorrow night, they have the Halloween event. So I have the tickets last, so we were going to be here with them. There we go, Mickey and Minnie. Which I'm pretty sure we don't have because everyone's just standing in front of them. Oh, mine's lighting up. And now my first kid's lady. What is that crazy doing person doing over there? I know. I she's putting like she's really, putting her really crazy person. She's putting her arms in the air like she just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to Goofy? Um, that sounded painful. That's a Goofy thing. He does that. Oh, okay. We're having to avoid the rain and I'm still sweating. <laughs> yeah, Amy's still trying. Wow, it's great to see everybody having so much fun. There's a place to send you on your way. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, we are. Okay, I'm doing too much. Let's get out of here. Okay. But that was fun. A little bonus. Just got done with the uh, 50th statues, and Main Street looks absolutely gorgeous. Possibly even more gorgeous because of the rain. Again, I've, I've got rain coming down. I've got sweat coming down. But uh, that is a beautiful view going out. Say bye to the castle. See you next time. Ooh, wow. <laughs>